Well, where we are being wonderfully blessed by the Lord. Our uh, middle daughter is handicapped and needs a lot of attention and care to be able to have her daily needs met and some of that is toileting and you know personal hygiene like showers and stuff we live in a very old home it's over 120 years old and this is um, you know originally there weren't any bathrooms in the house it was all outdoors there wasn't even internal plumbing at this location so things are just tacked on and you know they don't necessarily now in a modern sense they're not all that um, convenient but at the time it was better than going outside in the cold and sitting on an outhouse or something so this is our, our kitchen over here this is for our downstairs and our living rooms out here so this is our bathroom and really for for the time that they put it together this is luxurious in size it's huge this isn't the original toilet when they first put it in. It would have been a, a tall um, bowl up here with a pipe that would then come down to here. And then as they modernized, they would put this tank on and then a shorter elbow as the plumbing got better. But it's all non-standard. And this is difficult for Emily to use which that's our middle daughter's name and the Lord has brought forward uh, a gift to remodel our bathroom and we are very grateful for it so here's our back of the door so we're, we're filming up what it looks like before now there's a false ceiling, uh, very high ceilings. It goes another uh, almost two feet above this little fa false ceiling here. There's a bathroom above here. Some pegboard. We got a mirror over here, and we have a pedestal sink that was put in shortly before we actually bought the house. And uh, unfortunately. It's an old cast iron pipe system, and they just tied directly into the existing for upstairs, and it was a vent pipe, and so it ceased draining within a couple of months of us moving in, and we've never been able to get it to fit work, short of them wanting to put in whole new venting systems and outside of our realm of capability of buying, so we just wash in the kitchen sink. And when we moved in, this was just a tub. It is a claw foot. Uh, this is a skirting to keep things from rolling underneath it. But it is a, a real claw foot tub. And so we bought um, this brass fixture that has a little pipe that comes up. And then this is my little fix to get water to come up and give us a shower and then we just have pipe coming around you can see my nice little bracket system to hold it up and little brackets over there so we have a nice shower and Emily can't actually take a shower unassisted she requires assistance um, and right now two of our daughters do that or my wife and one of my daughters and so at the back here is what we've been using as our kitchen pantry, towel storage, that sort of thing. Well, to meet Emily's needs by the um, American Disabilities Association, the ADA Act, we have to lose our very nice pantry, which is fine. We're getting a, a lovely gift, so we're not ungrateful. But this whole area going to be converted into 
a shower that will be large enough for two people to be able to assist Emily. So that requires a lot of space which won't fit out here without uh, we have a window that has to be removed. So there are costs involved that has to be with under, underneath a certain cost. So this is a small window. It costs less money. Well, and you can see the, the false ceiling out there. And then you have the proper ceiling height in here. So you can see quite a bit of difference. We're only the second owner of this house, according to the title records, which I think is really neat. From what we can tell, she used this as her canning storage, and then she had some also set up in the basement for like a root cellar. She liked pink. And it looks like this was actually originally a door that went out into what is our living room that they closed in when they made this a pantry. So, just showing it. Go up. Nice little shelves. Lots of drawers here, which are huge. This is over three feet deep. We got nice little storage space in here. Um, anyways, we are sad, I'll be truthful, we are sad that we are going to lose this pantry space because <laughs> we need it. Our kitchen is very small, again it was actually not originally a, a kitchen. It was something that was fitted in, it looks like around the 40s. Uh, they had what was called a summer kitchen. Um, they had wood burning stove set up in the basement. And so they didn't have a lot of heat in here. It was fireplace, but we have that all walled off now, which was on the other side of what we use as storage over there now. Anyways, again, I can't stress enough. We're very grateful and thankful for this gift. And so we're really just recording this so we can show a before and an after. By the way, just so you know, it seems like a good idea, but carpet in a bathroom, you know, boys kind of miss once in a while. It's not a fun thing to clean. And then with Emily, she's in diapers, so sometimes between the toilet and the bathtub there's accidents and things like that but that's just part of life so part of this is going to be we're going to be doing tile but that's not part of what we're receiving they're just going to leave the floor um, unfinished and then we hopefully this winter will uh, put in tile anyways I can't stress enough what a what a gift we're very grateful. Be glad, watchers.